Welcome to the Workday Reporting for Business Users video series. Discovery Boards is a powerful ad hoc reporting and analytics tool within Workday. It provides dynamic visualizations of your data, allowing you to interact, analyze, and gain insights in real time. To begin, access your Discovery Boards through Drive. First, select your Profile menu, then choose Drive. Think of Drive as your central hub for collaborative documents in Workday. Here, you can find discovery boards, worksheets, slides, media files, and other documents. When you open a discovery board, Workday brings you to the discovery board workspace. This workspace is designed to be intuitive and user-friendly. At the top of the workspace is the title of the discovery board. Just below that are the Discovery Board's sheets, organized as tabs. You can easily navigate between sheets by selecting the tabs or by using the sheet menu. Within each sheet, you'll find a variety of visualizations or vises. These can be charts, tables, or KPIs. Discovery Boards are also designed to be interactive. Here's how you can engage with the visualizations. Maximize or minimize your viz to suit your viewing preference. Similar to charts and workday reports, hover over a viz's chart or legend to reveal more information. Some vizs allow you to drill down into the data for deeper analysis. Simply select a value on the viz and choose Drill By to explore the data from different perspectives. For a more granular view, choose Show Details. Drill by and detail data opens a new table or pivot table viz with the information. Let's explore this further. Meet Teresa Serrano. Teresa has a discovery board that tracks her company's revenue and expenses. We'll follow along as Patrick demonstrates how to use the drill by and show details features to analyze this data. This discovery board displays revenue and expenses for the company. We have a KPI that shows the year-to-date revenue. Let's drill into this value and analyze it by another metric. We'll select the value and then select Drill By. There are many options available. Let's view revenue by period. A pivot table this opens, showing the revenue for each period of this year. We can also add another layer of analysis. In the column section, let's add region. Now Workday displays the revenue for each period broken down by region. I can continue to drill down even further. To return to the original viz, simply select the viz's link from the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the workspace. Now let's discuss some additional actions you can take on your visualizations. In view mode, each viz has a related actions menu with several useful options. Create report generates a custom report based on the viz. The newly created report is separate from the discovery board and they are not dynamically linked. Download as PNG downloads a viz as an image. For table and pivot table vizs, you can download the data as a CSV file. You can also resize columns for better readability. Now, let's discuss Discovery Board controls. Controls are configurable inputs that provide lightweight data analysis capabilities. They display in the control panel on the right side of the workspace. Discovery Board editors will set up these controls to tailor the Discovery Board to your specific needs. When you select a viz, a small circle icon appears next to the controls that affect it. Simply update the control input, and Workday automatically updates the impacted visualizations. Finally, let's discuss security and troubleshooting. The way Workday displays the discovery board depends on your permissions. Users may have restricted access to certain vizs or sheets. If a viz seems to be missing data, it could be due to your data permission, filters applied by an editor, or limitations on the number of groupings displayed. If you don't have edit permissions, collaborate with your administrator to optimize your Discovery Board experience. That concludes our overview of accessing and viewing a Discovery Board. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.